The current Rollers Hour World Record stands at 57.18 kilometers, and that was set in 2019 in Italy by Leonardo Saponaro. Here on GCN Tech though, we can't just take the approach of trying harder and hoping for the best. No, 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 no. What we need to do is use the best tech available to try and make life as easy as possible and help me ride as fast as possible. So to break this world record of riding on the bike rollers, I'm gonna have to ride at a speed of 57.18 kilometers per hour. And normally riding at that speed, aerodynamics would be everything. But for this record, the only part of me and my bike that's gonna be riding really fast is the wheels, they'll be going fast. So for those, aerodynamics is still gonna be everything. But for the other components, we need to focus on reducing friction and the drag. So to help me out and beat this record, I've picked four key areas to optimize. I've got the wheels and tires, which I'm gonna be changing out. I'm gonna optimize the drivetrain, the gearing, and the bike rollers themselves, because look at these. They're out of my garage and they're a little bit tired and rusty, but they're still perfectly up for the job. As I already mentioned, the wheels are the only part of the bike that are gonna be moving super fast. So they do need to be optimized for aerodynamics. Sure, they're not gonna be moving forwards through the air like they would be when you're out riding on the road, but they are still gonna be traveling very fast. So aerodynamics does come into it. And Vision have helped me out here and supplied me with a Metron 80 millimeter front wheel and a rear disc wheel for the bike. And these are Vision's most aerodynamically optimized wheel set designed for time trials. So these are gonna serve me perfectly well. Paired with these, I'm using Pirelli tubular tires. And normally I would opt for tubeless tires, but for this record attempt, I need to use incredibly high pressures in the tires to reduce the friction as much as possible. And unfortunately, a tubeless system just isn't designed for those super high pressures. So I'm gonna be pumping these tubular tires right up to their maximum working limit. It can be quite an annoying and fiddly job gluing tubular tires onto the wheels, but some kind person here at GCN Megabase has already done the job for me. Optimizing your drivetrain is something everyone that races should consider doing, because when you're racing, every last watt counts. Sure, it's not crucial for your weekend rides, but when you're racing and competing, it's well worth considering. And to help me out, the guys at Muckoff have sent out their nano chain, which is hands treated with their unique blend of waxes and oils, and is possibly the world's fastest chain available commercially. And it offers potential savings of up to 10 watts. To help reduce friction in the drivetrain even further, I've got myself some Kogel ceramic bearings for the bottom bracket and ceramic bearings in this oversized pulley wheel system. And these are gonna help optimize the drivetrain even further and crucially help save me watts, which is gonna result in me riding even faster. I know ceramic bearings is a subject that gets people fired up in the comments section, but in independent tests, they have been proven to be that little bit more efficient than standard bearings and that's a saving I'm gonna make use of. To stand any chance of breaking this world record, I'm gonna to need to ride very fast. And with the usual gearing that's on my bike, even just to match the world record pace, I would need to have an average cadence of over 100 RPM for the hour. And that is just about achievable, but that's gonna be very tough. And I don't really wanna just match the record. I wanna knock it out of the park and make it incredibly tough for the next person to try and beat. To help me do that, I'm gonna be using this ginormous 62 tooth drag to zero aero chainring to help me do that. And this 62 tooth chainring combined with an 11 tooth sprocket on the back, an average cadence of 100 RPM, theoretically, I could ride at 71 kilometers an hour. Now I say theoretically, because I have got to have the power to be able to turn that gear, and that's yet to be tested. So I'm leaving myself open to a bit of failure here, but hopefully it will all work out. But what about the rollers themselves? Whilst they already spin nice and freely, I'm gonna take them apart, remove the additional band that's fitted to the rollers, and then for the bearings, I'm gonna take the seal off, clean out any old grease, and refit some ceramic chain lube in there to make them spin even faster. 
Right, I'm going to need to make a start on getting all of these parts fitted and getting the rollers stripped apart and cleaned out, ready for some fresh oil, which I guess you should probably say, what, 30 seconds or so? Well, that was pretty easy to get all those parts fitted, and the bike looks absolutely incredible. Those parts have really transformed it. And to record my efforts, I'm not only going to be using one Wahoo head unit, but I'm going to use two. And these are going to be paired up to two speed sensors that are going to be fitted to my front wheel to record my efforts. And I'm also going to calibrate those sensors in the Wahoo companion app to make sure everything is as accurate as possible. And that rounds off my Rollers Guinness World Record tech video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And why not head over to the GCN channel to check out the actual attempt and see how I got on. Please let us know in the comments section down below what kind of setup you choose for taking on the world record hour yourself. See you later.